It's another break of serve, and once again it goes. Yeah, beautifully played. Oh, well, nearly got in the muddle with that right now. She's winning a fair amount of points behind the first serve, but she's only won two. Oh, it's just an odd set, hasn't it, from the right times. It just feels today against Goff, it, it, it's almost like she's been going for the wrong shots. Agree with you. Queen Dichus needs to keep. This is where it's, it's light watching. How's that one missed? South. Sure, there was that much margin for error on that forehand, but <laughs> where the ball's going to go right now. With a little bit of luck, Coco Goff is able to take the openings, cut out the unforced errors, and it is Goff who takes the first set. Caressed up the line. And Getting better and better is coming. And it was all a case of match management. 15 up. Yeah, super overhead. Scrapping from Goff. Finds the corner of the court. Miss that one. Oh. And Goff just hanging in there. Oh, it's no. unlucky for Goff. You've got to give credit yeah, to Jablis no. too. Handing. Yeah, 
Yeah, got a little lucky there, Goff, but took advantage. And it's Goff. Beautifully weighted, isn't it? So often does that, Jabir. Strange shot selection from Jabert. Well, they say the great players are able to win when not playing their best. And you certainly feel that was the case today with Coco Goff, who digs deep, fights hard, and at the end of the day was just that little bit. Defeats on Jabir, 6-4, 6, -four, six -three. Okay. Goff, who comes through. Not quite the match we were expecting, but as you said there, Mel, very difficult conditions for both players. And maybe that match away. That's for Coco Goff. That will make her feel a lot better after the spot night of losing both of those matches in New York. To manage her game well, half the amount of unforced errors to her opponent. When it counted, she got the ball in play. Did a good job of giving herself a lot of opportunity at break points. Was able to take six of those.